This week, I'm back in Los Angeles, the city where among 10 million people, I felt the most alone. Lately, I've been spending a lot of time alone. I just moved in by myself, and for the first time in my life, I'll find myself going whole days just with myself. I kind of love it though. This is an essential part of life. No matter how many people you surround yourself with, you will always have those lonely moments. It's important to learn how to accept, live with, and maybe even enjoy them. So today I'm gonna be getting ready and going on a date with myself. Because if you can't enjoy time with yourself, who's gonna wanna date you anyways? Today's video is sponsored by CVS, and if you guys saw my last video partnering with them, you would know I showed you guys a post-breakup makeup look, and I thought it was only fitting that for today's video with them, I took myself out on a date. So first things first, we gotta get ready for that date. And today I'm gonna be using a new line they just came out with. It is called GSQ by Glam Squad. It's a line of a bunch of essential beauty tools that you use in your daily routine, like hair dryers, makeup brushes, tweezers, things like that. I'll have all of these GSQ by Glam Squad products linked below, so if you wanna shop them, it's right down there. So first things first, I'm using the travel hair dryer. It's super cute. It comes with this hot pink attachment. Since this is the travel hair dryer, it is pretty small. Just, you know, great for travel. It comes with a little travel bag as well, but it packs a very powerful punch. It has over 1800 watts of power. Once my hair is like 85% dry, I will then section it off. So these are the mega hold clips. These are so nice and handy. I used to just use a hair tie, but that's honestly so bad for your hair and it causes weird kinks in your hair and when you're trying to style it, it just like keeps messing it up so these clips are really really nice and then I'm taking the smooth operator bore bristle and then I'm taking the smooth operator bore bit bore bristle brush guys that is hard to say bore bristle brush bore bit br alliteration's not for me. Boar bristle brushes naturally disperse the oil in your hair and that's what makes your hair so shiny. So a boar bristle brush is so key for styling for me. This one is only $12.99. That's such a good deal. So I'm just gonna take that and kind of go through and more precisely blow dry my hair till it's fully dry. This is how my hair looks freshly blow dried and I'm super happy with it. It's super smooth, it's not frizzy at all and that was something that took me so long to figure out. I would always rely on just like products like shampoos, conditioners, everything that said anti-frizz but the biggest way that I actually got my hair to stop being frizzy was changing up the tools that I used. Getting a boar bristle brush helped so much. Gonna let my hair sit for a little bit since it just got a blast of heat and I'm gonna move on to my face. I've been neglecting my eyebrows they look really crazy so <laughs> well, I'm gonna be using the GSQ by Glam Squad tweezer set this comes with slant tip tweezers and point tip tweezers and a little storage pouch I think the point tip is really good for like really tiny really precise hairs I'm gonna be starting with the slant tip tweezers <laughs> Cool. For makeup, I've been using all of the same products as I did in my post-breakup makeup tutorial. So I'll have that and the products linked below if you want to check it out. So now I'm using the GSQ by Glam Squad High Definition Foundation Brush. And I'm also using their five-piece brush set, which comes with a little pouch as well. This is like the little foundation brush. Honestly, I like having a smaller brush. It just kind of fits in your hand really nice and naturally. I'm just going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer sealer going in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Still so obsessed with this stuff. Makeup has changed so much from when I was, you know, like 13 years old and first starting to wear it to now, 11 years later, I'm 24. I feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money to get really good quality products. This is fantastic. It doesn't shed. It's soft. It gives like an amazing airbrush finish. As you guys know by now, CVS is my favorite place to go for beauty products. They've made such an amazing commitment to being transparent about beauty imagery. And you can see in their store when you're shopping, there is the beauty mark and that means that the photos are not digitally altered. I'm just gonna be curling my hair, so I'm just gonna section it off using the hair clips. I'm gonna be using the GSQ by Glam Squad Adjustable Titanium one and one quarter inch to one inch curling iron. So it's adjustable in three ways. So you can have it that way, that way, or just 
traditionally straight up. I'm setting it to the number four heat setting and 375 degrees. My hair isn't short, but it's also not long. It's kind of this awkward length that sometimes is hard to curl. They just come out awkward, but because this is tapered, it makes it a lot easier because you know, it just gets smaller on the end. And since my hair is shorter, that really does the trick to ensure the curls like don't come out weird. On this bottom layer, I just take really big sections and do these big curls that come out really relaxed because the bottom layer doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I love this just kind of like messy beachy wave look. Lastly, I'm really quickly going to do my nails with the GSQ by Glam Squad manicure kit. Super cute little kit that has everything you need. I have a confession to make. I cut my nails over a toilet. Is that weird? I mean, I think it makes sense. You don't want the clippings going on the floor. That's gross. So then if they just go in the toilet, you're good, right? Wrong though, because one time I accidentally dropped the nail clipper in the toilet and yes, I obviously had to retrieve it. When I lived in LA, I never dated. Like I'm pretty sure I did not go on a single date. Yeah, no, I didn't, um, which is fine. But there's so many fun ideas of things that you can do here. And there's definitely things that have been on my list for a couple years that I always meant to do when I lived here. So we're gonna go do that today on this date. So the agenda is I really have always wanted to go on one of those hop on hop off tour buses. It's obviously super touristy, but I think it could be like a fun thing to do. And then we're gonna get dinner somewhere. I don't know where yet. If a guy ever asked me, where should we go to eat? Like I am that girl that's like, I don't know. You pig. Nails are all prepped and primed. I'm just gonna put this kind of white cream color on. I'm not a big nail person, but I do just want them to look nice and clean and not gross. All right, guys, I am all ready to go on this day. I will show you my outfit real quick. to Hollywood Boulevard. It's not a super busy day, so that's nice. And I'm just looking for my hop on hop on bus. I just got on the bus. I think it's about to go. They give you these little headphones to like listen to the tour guide. So I just got off the bus right outside of LACMA. Those lights. Goodbye bus, it's been real. The bus tour was certainly interesting. It's funny because I went past all these streets that I personally had driven past a million times before when I lived here, but they would say all of these interesting historical or like pop culture significances about them. And I'd be like, wow, I drove past them all the time and never knew any of this stuff. I didn't know that the street La Cienega, which is super popular, you drive on it all the time and it means swamp because it used to be a swamp there. Like so many things where I was like, wow, that was cool. I'm glad that I did that. But there's another part of me that's like, I just paid $45 to sit in traffic. <laughs> I'm getting a little hungry now, so I think it's time to get some food. for my date. I feel like my Uber did not want to take me this deep up this hill. We are at the Griffith Observatory. What 
Look at that ceiling, folks. A Galileo's telescope. Wow, like actually his? This is like a museum. Also, Saturn is dope. Coolest planet of them all. Loved how the women's bathroom, it has little stars on it. I am mind blown right now. Telescope. Okay, there's a line. That makes sense though. It seems pretty cool. Also, it's like a full moon, so it's gonna look super cool. This is crazy. And scan the bottom of it, and you'll see that the bottom edge will be just a little bit sharper. 20 minutes of waiting for like 10 seconds of viewing, but guys, it was pretty cool. I was really hoping for like a beautiful view out of Griffith, but unfortunately, it is a foggy, foggy night. But it's a full moon. So that concludes my date with myself. What do you think, guys? Do you like going places alone? Do you remember the first time you really went somewhere by yourself? Let me know in the comments what that was. Thanks again to CVS for sponsoring today's video. If you guys like any of the products that I use, they are, of course, linked below, and you can find them in store. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.